Mike, taking off. They're running some tests right now, but when they let you back in, just stay with them. We will. Hey. Is there something wrong between us? What are you talking about? I saved Sonny's life, and you walk into the room, and you ask me to leave, and then you come out here, and you tell Mike to take care of him, and you don't even look at me. I mean, did I do something wrong to you? It never occurred to you to dump the drug paraphernalia? I did. Yeah, in the couch in his apartment doesn't count. We should grab the stuff, put it in your purse, and threw it away when you got to emergency. But now, the cops have it to use against them. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I guess I never could quite figure out the way to protect Sonny. Brenda, you saved his life. That's all that matters. I'm sorry. I'm being a jerk. I owe you for what you did. I always will. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Morgan. May we ask you some questions? Uh, no. Just a few. About your boss and his nasty habit? If Sonny doesn't do drugs. I was talking to Mr. Morgan. So, uh, how long has Sonny been shooting heroin? Since his wife blew up or before? You should go to hell. I got a badge who says you're not allowed to talk to me that way. But maybe you didn't know that. Maybe you're on heroin, too. You got any needle tracks in those arms? You want to check? Get a warrant. <laughs> How could I? We both know you're a special case. Not only are you dating the commissioner's niece, you're so damaged you don't even know the Why difference. Why don't you right shut up? You're even too damaged to know your boss is a junkie. How bad you want to hit me? Excuse me. Ms. Jensen, are you going to allow him to goad a private citizen like that? We're finished here. Mr. Morgan, you're free to go. Don't leave, Sonny. That was so uncool, and you know it. All right, all right. Come on, let's uh, let's go back to Sonny. What the hell were you doing? I'm trying to get the kid to pop. He's supposed to have a temper, and I think he knows a lot about Corinto's organization. Well, I don't work that way. If you want to arrest him, you find some legitimate reason. Otherwise, stick with what we have, OK? Now, if that forensics report comes back the way it should, Sonny Corinthos may finally be facing a charge that will stick. Tell you something, calm down. Better. He really cares about you. You know, that's something you just can't help. There's no way to stop that. What are you still doing here? Are you a glutton for punishment or what? I said I was going to stay here until I knew that you were OK, and that's what I'm going to do. That should be a while. Ah, what do you want? Detective Taggart is here to read you your rights. I'm here to watch. She likes to watch. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney and for that attorney to be present during questioning. Do you, un Do you understand these rights as they've been read to you? Yes. Do you wish to have an attorney present? Enough. I've been through this dance, OK? I know it by heart. I'm not in the mood to do it again. Yeah, well, we're going to make it real interesting this time. We're going to send you to prison. Where's Garcia? Alex took a transfer to Los Angeles. Oh, I miss him very much. I gave him a hell of a going away present. Last thing he said was to take you down. Now I don't have to. You did it yourself. You're a junkie, Corinthos. You're not just dealing heroin. You're shooting the stuff. Sonny doesn't do Brenda. drugs. Listen, you're supposed Brenda. to be a cop, right? That means you're supposed to help people? 
Somebody tried to kill him. You really believe that, don't you? Brenda, listen to me. This is nothing but a stupid, ugly game. Yeah, he knows the rules, and so do I. Yes, somebody tried to kill me, and yes, he believes that, but if he can twist it and use it against me, he will. We found paraphernalia and traces of heroin at your residence. Oh, really? You ever hear of uh, illegal search and seizure? Oh, you ever heard of probable cause? Toxicology report says your veins were pumped full of heroin, and uh, the door to your apartment was open. Fine, then finish the arrest. And I will sue your sorry butt for harassment, and you know I will. You searched my apartment and found nothing. You came back here and got nothing again, except the report that says I was on heroin, which I freely admit, because, hey, somebody tried to kill me. Prove it. No, because that's your job. I am a citizen, and I was assaulted, and I want the police to do something about it. I'm sorry, but you know what? Is there a reason you're here besides taking up space? I wanted to assess the case against you. And? Yeah, it's possible someone tried to kill you. Why wouldn't they? But it's also possible that you shot yourself up with heroin. Now, since I don't want to go to court with an unprovable case, we're going to call this an ongoing investigation. Now, you convince me that someone tried to set you up and you are off the hook. Otherwise, I go to the DA with all this evidence and see how he wants to handle it. Now, would you care to give me a statement, or would you like to speak with an attorney first? And that's when I called 911. And that was it. <clears throat> well, if it was a setup, how come the paraphernalia was found under the couch cushions? You're wasting my time, detective. Finish the arrest or split. Someone tried to kill Mr. Corinthos. See about getting a sketch artist in here and find a nurse. Hurry now, detective. I'll be right back. Miss Jensen. Thank you. Don't bother. Sooner or later, he's going to make a mistake, and I will send him to prison. Her face was a little fuller, and her nose wasn't as straight, but the but the, uh, uh, eyes are right, and so is the forehead. What about height, weight, any identifying characteristics? Yeah, yeah, she was about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, 130 pounds, uh, good build, a little, you know, a little hippie, um, but she had long legs and good posture, you know, thick ankles. Uh, good. You got a good look at her. Yeah, I, I notice things. See, Mr. Krentos used to own a strip joint. Maybe you don't know as much about him as you think you do. Oh, no, 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 detective. She knows everything about me, don't you, Brent? <sighs> think twice before admitting that. Could make you an accessory. How's this? Holy moly. <clears throat> well, that's about as close you can get. Excuse yeah. me. Dr. Quarterman, could you come here for a moment, please? Sure. Something wrong? <clears throat> Mr. Corinthos claims to have been set up by this woman here. Can you tell me if she works in the hospital? I've never seen her before in my life. has confirmed that reputed crime lord Michael Sonny Corinthos Jr. was admitted last night to Port Charles General Hospital for an apparent heroin overdose. Mr. Corinthos was near death when rushed... You sure it's her? Well, she said you were asking about me and there's no way I could forget face it delivered that news you go ahead and you uh, find her and uh, you'll have all the answers you need there young man
I, I need to have a conversation with Mac, you know, because I can't believe he gave my case to the only cop on the force who's more obnoxious than Garcia. I, I think my feelings yeah. are hurt. Come on, do you really think that the police aren't going to try and find who attacked you? They're going to give him a medal. These people hate me, Brenda. I bet you Taggart threw that sketch in the garbage. So what are we supposed to do then? That's just it? No, that's not it. I'm going to find out who did it. So where do we start? We? Well, I did save your life, so I guess I should feel kind of responsible for it. Always? The person who did this knew about us. I mean, they knew that if you thought I was hurt, that you'd come to me. They didn't know if I was hurt, you'd come to me. And I wouldn't even have to ask. 